So the big question is this, how do most agents who struggle to get the information that most successful agents hoard to themselves grow and prosper without this information? That's the big question and this video cast is the answer. Welcome to Real Estate Rockstars. I'm your host, Pat Hyben. Okay, Rockstar Nation, I have a guest today from Smooth Sailing Business Growth. We're going to talk about how to grow your business massively. Uh, we're going to talk about all things social media, all things content, all things blogging, all things that you may not want to hear, but you <laughs> need to hear because there are agents out there that are taking over your Ooh. market with computers and social media and iPhones and, and uh, stomping on your territories or territories of agents that are using old school traditional methods. And, uh, you know, if you're still using these methods, you're going to die fast um, as everything changes so fast in this world. So we're going to see what's changed this year and what will be changing next year and uh, how you can make more money as a real estate agent uh, with all things online pretty much. So yeah. anyways, Lindsay, welcome how to are you? Rock Stars. Thanks for having me, Pat. Hey, why don't you uh, give everybody a little rundown, Lindsay, on who you are so they can get to know you better. For sure. I am Captain Lindsay Phillips of Smooth Sailing Business Growth. I love the sailing theme. It's fun. Um, Got to add a bit of humor to your business, right? And uh, so, yeah, we do everything content marketing. So blogging, video marketing, podcast um, marketing, social media, email marketing, lead magnets, all those different avenues to attract and acquire customers and build those relationships, nurture them, and, of course, pull them down your sales funnel, which is the name of the game. Awesome. Awesome. And um, so let's jump right into this, right? For sure. So let's talk about real estate agents and mm -hmm. what you think they're doing wrong right now. Absolutely. And I know a lot of people kind of feel overwhelmed or, you know, nervous about social media or the biggest myth is that it's not really important. And, you know, with real estate agents, I mean, their biggest thing is building relationships and rapport with their customers and prospects out, right, out there, right? And you can use social media to continue that relationship, to help foster it, create that bond and that trust, and, and not to be afraid of it. Um, again, some people feel really overwhelmed that there's so many platforms out there. I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. And so for me, I've got three things that are the starting points. And the first thing is, is thinking about your target market, you know, who they are, their age, do they have kids, what kind of house do they live in, what stage of life are they in, and where are they hanging out? You know, if you're, you know, have a millennials and they're really creative and they're artistic, then you're not necessarily going to focus all your time in LinkedIn. Whereas if your target market are, you know, in their 50s and their 60s and they, you know, their kids are grown up and they've got extra income and they're just, their decisions and what they're doing is different, you may not want to focus your time in, let's say, Snapchat or Instagram if that's not where they're hanging out. So you really need to even think about your top 10 clients that you've had in the past year, even go back and talk to them. Um, you know, and kind of study them or you can put surveys out there, but just really understanding who it is that you're, you know, quote unquote, selling to or that you're serving and knowing where they're hanging out. And so, so that's where, so let me stop you there. So yeah. I almost think like there needs to be a dialogue that is to the tune of, and I don't know if hanging out is the right way to put it, but to mm -hmm. the tune of what social media are you on? Right. Yeah. Like, like even when you talk to even a first phone call, someone call like two calls, right? One call, someone comes uh, to a calls in for a listing appointment and says, Hey, you know, Lindsay, I want to talk to you about selling my home. Okay. How many bedrooms, how many baths, whatever, da, 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 what's your address? What social media 
do you use? Right? Because, you know, when you're asking them, and then again, and, 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 and the, the answer to this is with all people, buyers and sellers, but with buyers too, how much is this house? Da, 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 da. What social media do you use? And then you could write it down, right? Mm-hmm. Instagram. Okay, great. What's your IG, right? You know, Snapchat. Okay. You know, wh- what's your Snapchat name? Um, uh, you know, whatever. Facebook. Great. Uh, LinkedIn. Okay. I'll link you. Um, and then use that to your advantage, right? Write it down mm-hmm. and then specifically pay for ads that target them by themselves, which costs like four cents because you're only targeting really one person, right? Um, or follow them so they follow you back. Yeah. Right? And Absolutely. Is it, is, it, is, it, is it as simple as that? Yeah. I mean, you, you don't want to make them feel uneasy, like asking for their, their handle or whatever, but I would definitely invite them to like your page because once they like you, then you can like them back um, or just say, hey, I've got some great tips on my, you know, social media. You might want to check it out. Or even when you're showing them. Right. It's kind of like, I think if you do that, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, we'll call you back. We'll let you know, you know, and then they never call back. Right. It's like. uh, Yeah. I mean, I guess it depends on your sale approach. And it also got. If you're just looking for intel, I mean, you can kind of get that when you're showing the homes with clients that you already yeah. have, right? Like you're showing them, how. yeah. You're showing you're you're meet them at an open house. Hey, what's your IG? You know, or hey, what's your, you know, you know, what so? Well, just go back to that one question, right? What social media mm-hmm. do you use? And then you just bite your lip. <laughs> And, and even, I mean, it's like, you can even ask, like, you know, when you're searching for like house tips or how to stage your home or what kind of houses to look for or your school districts or whatever those questions may be, you know, do you ever search in Facebook to find out those things or talk to your friends or kind of, kind of figuring out where they're sourcing some of the information that they're looking for or like, hey, do you follow, um, I can't think of any right now, but do you follow so-and-so or this company, you know, house or whatever on social media? And also on the flip side, also find out how they're sourcing information in regards to which medium, you know, do they enjoy watching videos? You know, do they, are they more visual? Do they like to read reports or checklists or would they find that helpful? Just ask them point blank, right? What, yeah, what for do sure. What do you have to do? You know, read blogs? Do you read news yeah. uh, online? Or do you or listen to, to podcasts? It? Yeah. Yeah, right. Do you, what, you know, it might just be that. What, what do you spend more time doing? Um, yeah. Listening to podcasts, you know, watching videos on YouTube or, or reading blogs. And then again, just bite your lip, right? Just, you know, you need to find out yeah. where yep. they're at because everybody is different. And, and to a degree, you can stereotype, right? Which I think is what you were saying earlier. You were saying stereotype, right? If they're, if they're a certain age, right? They're millennials. Mm-hmm. You want to Instagram them, right? If they're... Yeah. If or at least also uh, promote your stuff on Instagram so they can find out about you so that you're focusing your social media efforts on those platforms where they're more likely to be. Because you don't want to spend all this time posting in Twitter, let's say, and like creating the graphics and, you know, just posting there in general or engaging in other people. If nothing's happening, you're not getting a return or your target market is not hanging out there. Um, so then at least you can focus on, okay, here are two or three, you know, social media platforms where I know my target market is hanging out. So I want to focus all my energy in those platforms. So you're not guessing. Okay. So, so let's say we're afraid to ask those questions. Where, how, what are some specifics you can give us today to how we can pigeonhole people and, and guess which platforms they're probably using. I mean, you can even just think about maybe some of your friends are, have been in your, you know, your clients or some of your family members kind of fit that mold of what your ideal target market is. And then just ask them questions. If they're like your audience, then you can easily ask them the questions. 
and you know like what what are their pain points what kind of things are they looking for where are they hanging out do they like videos and and if you have good relationships with your clients that you've had over the past so many years I mean they're not gonna mind you calling up and say hey do you mind if I I'm working on some new marketing do you mind if I just ask you a few questions just to pick your brain um, you know they're, they're they like you so they're I'm sure they'll help you out what do you think about the word toolbox what is a toolbox a toolbox is a box full of tools that you use to build something great at real estate rockstars we've created our own free toolbox so everybody that comes on the show as a guest brings a tool with them and we plow them all into this toolbox and we give it away for our viewing audience to basically use as they wish everything we put in there is an actionable item that can be downloaded can be printed can be used immediately and we got things like scripts and dialogues, checklists for teams, checklists to keep agents accountable, referral forms that are filled out at settlement to get referrals by your buyers and sellers. Everything you could think of that you could use on a regular basis about real estate is included in this toolbox. And it's helping agents worldwide sell more houses and make their jobs a lot easier and processes much more efficient and the thing is it's absolutely free all you got to do is go to hybendigital.com backslash toolbox or text the word toolbox to 444-999 that's toolbox 444-999 do it now interesting okay cool yeah all right so i want to talk a little bit about blogging um you know and uh what's going on with that and and how you can maximize that? that, how you can make money from that. You bet. So content marketing or blogging, if you will, is a way to attract a new prospect and get them to learn more about you. So if you're, let's say I'm selling my home and uh, you know, I'm just pulling up an example. I don't know how to stage my home. I don't know what the right to do's are. And, I, and that's kind of a pain point. I'm stressed out about making my home look good to sell it. So if you have an article or like a few articles on your website that are like the three top things you absolutely have to do if you're selling your home or the five biggest mistakes you do not want to do and people will just step into your home and then walk right out the door because it looks so bad. So you're tapping into their pain point or their, their, their problem that they have in their mind. So if they see a social media post on, let's say, Facebook that is like, you know, the three best things to do or the seven, you know, worst things to do, whatever that may be in a really attractive graphic, then they'll be like, oh, I need to know that. So then they're going to click on that link, go to your blog, and oh, look, this person sells home. Or maybe they'll have some advice. Maybe they'll check out other blogs. Or maybe they'll see an opt-in on the side that has like a really easy, easy staging checklist. They're like, oh, that's a no-brainer. I'm going to sign up for that. And yes, I get on their e-list. Big deal. But you're more top of mind and you look like the expert. And they're more likely to then go to you for advice and hopefully list their home with you. And, and so I think a lot of agents listening to this are thinking, you know, yeah, that's all well and good. But, you know, I don't got time for that. That's how you outsource. <laughs> oh, you know what? Um, like, and and there's a million ways to do it, right? Um, what are some ways for them to outsource this so it's, you know, effective and also, you know, you know, doesn't cost an arm and a leg. For sure. I mean, there are there are full on copywriters out there, and they are more expensive for sure. But there's also a lot of different companies out there that will write articles inexpensively. And then, you know, you just look at them and tweak them or whatever. And there's tons of virtual assistants out there. I mean, maybe even one of your office assistants or marketing staff in your, you know, the firm or whatever, maybe you can train them or get them involved. Maybe they have some interest in marketing and can take that on, put that article in the website, add the graphic and then create those social media posts for it and, and promote it through, you know, pre-schedule it through like Hootsuite or Social Champ or something like that. So yeah, you can use the staff that you have. You can hire a, a VA or, you know, you could obviously hire like a, con a bigger content marketing firm um, 
like myself to just ha you know use their expertise, get the articles written, and then it's all done for you. So if someone came to you and said, "Hey, you know, Lindsay, you know, I want you to put out uh, an article a week mm -hmm. on um, r a real estate related topic that would be of interest to." Um, people I'm trying to do business with. Mm -hmm. not something about, you know, um, something that real estate agents would be interested in. Exactly. Something that, you know, is neighborhood specific or zip code specific, something like, yep. you know, homes in 21044 um, zip code uh, soar in last three months, you know, uh, price values or, or something like that. What would that cost? Um, I mean, it all kind of depends because we have different packages. It depends on how many graphics. Some people have just the article. Some people have graphics inside, you know, click to tweets to make it more shareable, call to action on the bottom. It depends on if there's an email to your e-list that's going out with it. If you're doing, you know, how many platforms you have for your social media. So, I mean, and everyone, you know, some people might want to start out with two blogs per month just to kind of get their feet wet. So, I mean, we have packages that are customized to your needs. Um, yeah, so there's, there's quite a range, honestly. Yeah, and the fact of the matter is once you have a, an article written, you can use it in many different sources. You could email it to your sphere mm -hmm. of influence, right? You could, yeah. you could um, put it on Facebook and uh, figure out a way to get people to click on it, which, by the way, um, you know, there's ways to do this now where once you get them to respond and, and, you know, we've talked about this on the show in the past, um, you know, get them, you know, how much do you think 21044 zip code has increased in the last 12 months? You know, put your answer here or message me your answer. And once, once they they message you their answer, you can send them the article in messenger and, and you've got yeah. life essentially as be able to talk to them in messenger, but so you could do that. You can do it on uh, LinkedIn. What's the LinkedIn thing called? Yeah. So LinkedIn, it used to be called pulse. Now it's just basically articles, I guess. But so there's a section in LinkedIn where it's almost like you set up your blog right in LinkedIn manually. So there's the graphic, you set up the article inside um, and it just has the, uh, they're just more attractive to people. You get more likes, more comments, more reach than just the regular social media posts. So they're basically those articles inside of LinkedIn direct. So that's another great way to, to leverage the content. Hey, do you have to pay to, can nope. you to boost them? just your time? Um, yeah, LinkedIn, um, ads are kind of completely different. They don't really have boosting as such they have like um sponsored ads that are on the side sponsored in mail and um like a regular facebook ad like where there's content and stuff like that yep, yep um yeah so they've got a few different avenues that are i know sponsored in mail is becoming a little bit more popular but again like facebook ads that's a whole different ball of wax <laughs> yeah, the challenge with the, the sponsored in mail or the you know, the in the whole in mail thing with LinkedIn is there's so much spam in LinkedIn. That's my big I know challenge is it's like it's like you gotta cut through the white so noise. Facebook is really, really trying to, you know, make money off of uh, you know, Messenger somehow, uh, but also preserve it so that you're you're not you know, minimum amount of spam. Yeah, at least with the chatbots and stuff like that. I mean, it's if you're expressing interest or if you do a specific action, then you'll get these messages. Right. right. Um, but it's also up to the business owner not to be, you know, over pushy. You want to make it conversational. Um, you want to be serving. And you don't want to be like in their face all the time. You know what I mean? Don't use it to death. I want you to think about the word toolbox. What is a toolbox? A toolbox is a box full of tools that you use to build something great. At Real Estate Rockstars, we've created our own free toolbox. So everybody that comes on the show as a guest brings a tool with them and we plow them all into this toolbox and we give it away for our viewing audience to basically use as they wish. Everything we put in there is an actionable item that can be downloaded, can be printed, can be used immediately. 
and we got things like scripts and dialogues, checklists for teams, checklists to keep agents accountable, referral forms that are filled out at settlement to get referrals by your buyers and sellers. Everything you could think of that you could use on a regular basis about real estate is included in this toolbox and it's helping agents worldwide sell more houses and make their jobs a lot easier and processes much more efficient. And the thing is, it's absolutely free. All you got to do is go to hybendigital.com backslash toolbox or text the word toolbox to 444-999. That's toolbox 444-999. Do it now. Yeah, it's kind of like um the, you want to go, this is a great conversation. You want to go to where the supply is the lowest, right? So like 10, 12, 15 years ago, you read every single email you got, right? You were like, oh, I got an email. I know, okay. not anymore. <laughs> you know, because there was no supply, right? And um, LinkedIn, there's such a supply. Um, it's almost like if you catch somebody on Instagram and you find someone and you talk to them and you say, Hey, you know, what social media do you use? And they say, Instagram, bingo. You know, you want to try to, you know, direct message them on Instagram because nobody's doing that. Right. There's no, Not as much, no. There. they're going to be like, Oh, Hey, this dude I met at an open house, direct message me. It's like, um, texting is the same thing. You know, people will read like a hundred percent of their, text. Oh yeah. They won't read a hundred percent of their emails. They're not going to yeah. read a hundred percent of their LinkedIn in, in Bess's. Congratulations on your job promotion. Um, happy birthday, that sort of thing. Um, so you have to go where they're, where they're unexpected, right? Yes. Just be mindful of the permissions when it comes to emails and text marketing and voice messages and stuff like that. What do you mean by that? So like you can't just find someone's um, cell number and then go to, you know, your easy texting system, whatever the, where you like group schedule certain text messages to people. You can't just go ahead and text them. They have to have opted in. Right. To right. allow for those texts, kind of like, you know, when you sign up for a webinar sometimes and it asks you for your, your phone number and it says, you know, enter your cell number if you want to receive text message reminders about the webinar. So you yeah. say, yeah. yes, I know I'm going to get a text message. Yes, I realize that I may get some others after that. But then also when you get those text messages that you get, the, you know, it has the ability to, you know, text stop if you don't want them anymore. So you always have to give them an out. Yeah, I haven't gotten so far. I mean, I've signed up for a bunch of services and stuff. Uh, there is one real estate coach that, that texts me maybe once or twice a month that I signed up for some, you know, at something at some point. But for the most part, I haven't seen a lot of tech spam yet. No, and I think the rules are pretty tight on it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, what other tips do you have for agents out there? And, and, you know, I think a lot of real estate agents think, right. Um, that it is a too long of a process, right. I'm just being devil's advocate, right. Mm -hmm. and I want you to respond is they're like, yeah, you know, I can start writing content or even pay somebody to write content and it's going to go out there and it's going to just vanish. Right. And then, how am I going to, how can I get instant gratification from it is what they're thinking, kind mm -hmm. of paraphrasing it, right? Yep. Um, <clears throat> or is it impossible to get instant gratification from it? The key is you can't just post something and forget it. So you need to put the time in and schedule it in your calendar. You know, for half an hour, I'm going to gauge in social media because you are going to get that back. I've built solid relationships, gained clients from social media. So I've joined groups. I seek people out that I know are like maybe friends of a friend or something like that. I'm like, oh, I think they would be an ideal client, I'm interested in their business, whatever it may be, I like their page. 
and then they're more likely to then follow you. You can send them a direct message. Hey, I noticed you're, you know, you're following me. I see you're in this kind of line of business. Maybe you'd like this article or even just start commenting on their posts, right? You know, it, and sometimes people ask questions. So give some feedback. Um, I get a lot of, uh, great feedback in Facebook groups that I'm in and people will be asking questions about, you know, podcast production and, you know, stuff that I'm, I know the answer to. So I'm happy to help out and serve, Hey, here's what I do, or here's an idea, or this has worked for one client or whatever. It's basically you're answering their questions. You're commenting, you're showing that you're interested in them. Right. And then, or even ask questions like, Hey, I noticed like this, are you, I don't know what the questions are in my mind but right now, but just getting engaged with them, right? And then if they happen to like a post of yours or comment on a post of yours, make sure that you're engaging back and that you're, you're just think of it as another way of having a conversation. Yes, it's yeah, online. I like that because, um, you know, I think a lot of people have this old, old fashioned mindset that if they call somebody or someone calls them, it's okay to chat. Right. Oh, how, how are you? How's the family? Mm -hmm. What have you been up to? Oh, really? Da, 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 da. But then on social media, looking for business or with your intent being looking for business, um, it's not okay to chat. When it actually, it's more efficient to chat. Oh, absolutely. It goes a long way. A, also, the more engaged you are with people in social media, like if you're commenting on their posts, they're commenting on yours, they like it the more likely they are going to be seeing your posts in their feed, the more engaged they are. So you also don't want posts that are necessarily all about the house that you're selling, all about the testimonial of a new client. You know, put some stuff up about you, about your family, about, you know, something you were, maybe you've got a rental in your own home that you want to share. You want people buy from people that they like and they want to know you and trust you and feel like they can connect with you, that they're similar to you. So that's another huge tip is don't be afraid to share stuff about yourself or what's going on in your office or Peggy Sue just had a baby or a dog visited today in the office and you take a picture and you post it and it's so cute. People love that stuff. They want to know that they want to relate to you like a friend, right? Like a regular neighbor next door. Yeah, no, no, I love it. And, and you're saying the algorithms on Facebook, right? Yeah. If, if, because you because you're saying, oh, congratulations. And liking their stuff will automatically make your stuff start mm -hmm. showing up on their feed more so they can practice reciprocity. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Great advice. And I, I don't think a lot of people realize that. Right? No. And it's like, you need to put that time and effort in to have those conversations. And I mean, some of the people I've never met and they're like super good friends. Like there was a, a lady I know when her cat was sick and you think okay, her cat, it's got nothing to do with my business or relationship with her. That has to do with business. And then something happened to my cat and she messaged me back and we've had this conversation, but it's like, it's that off air stuff that, personal stuff that makes you closer to that person, business prospect, whoever. Um, and even really, even if they don't have a house to sell or they're not looking, if they have a good relationship with you and their neighbor's selling, they are be like, Hey, you know what? I'm, you know, friends with this person on Facebook and I know they seem like a really cool guy and they sell homes and they seem to be doing really well. Why don't I give you their contact number? So you can't forget about that aspect of it too. Right. Yeah, absolutely. hundred percent. No, I love it. I love it. So Lindsay, um, as you know, everybody that comes on the show uh, brings a special gift and we give it to all of our listeners inside of our agent toolbox where we have, you know, tons of free gifts that guests have brought. And in addition, we're going to put it on the show notes here, hybendigital.com backslash. I think we'll just do um something easy uh because <laughs> Lindsay is spelled different so why don't we i know do, don't go by my name why don't we just do smooth sailing there you go hybendigital.com backs us smooth sailing i'll put all of Lindsay's information if you guys want to reach out and contact her get some prices on um uh, content marketing and um everything else that she does um and you want to get this free gift it'll be on hybendigital.com backslash 
smooth sailing. Uh, tell me about what you're going to give everyone today, Lindsay. You betcha. So I know we're all about being productive. So I have eight ways of being more productive um, in your business and just in life. I'm a, I love productivity hacks and I find other people do as well. And I know real estate agents are super busy juggling their lives and prospects and, you know, making their clients happy. So it is uh, smoothbusinessgrowth.com slash be productive. That's awesome. Uh, Lindsay, thanks so much. I appreciate you coming on the show today and uh, best of luck to you in all your future endeavors. Oh, thanks so much. It was fun uh, chatting with you. Thank you for watching Real Estate Rockstars. Please give us a review wherever you're watching or wherever you're listening. We eat feedback for breakfast and I don't care whether you give me a one-star review or a five-star review. I just want the review. I want to know what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. Would love to improve things. Hey, and listen, please subscribe. The more subscribers we get and the more reviews we get, the better guests we'll get for you in the future. Feel free to reach out to me anywhere on social media. Just type in my name. I'm everywhere. And I look forward to meeting you in the digital world. Have a great day. And thanks again for listening to Real Estate Rockstars.